I grew up without much access to technology. We didn't get our first telephone till I was 10. I didn't have regular access to a computer until I came to America for graduate school. Under television, when we finally got one, only had one channel. My father spent the equivalent of a year's salary on my plane ticket to the US so I could attend Stanford. It was my first time ever on a plane. But when I eventually landed in California, things weren't as I had imagined. America was expensive. A phone call back home was more than $2 a minute. And a backpack cost the same as my dad's monthly salary in India. And for all the talk about the warm California beaches, that water was freezing cold. On top of all that, I miss my family, my friends, and my girlfriend, now my wife, back in India. A bright spot for me during this time was computing. For the first time in my life, I could use a computer whenever I wanted to. Completely blew my mind. Believe me when I say I saw none of this coming when I first touched down in the state of California 27 years ago. The only thing that got me from there to here, other than luck, was a deep passion for technology and an open mind. So take the time to find the thing that excites you more than anything else in the world. Not the thing your parents want you to do, or the thing that all your friends are doing, or that society expects of you. Be open, be impatient, be hopeful. You have the chance to change everything. I'm optimistic you will. You grew up with computers of all shapes and sizes. The ability to ask a computer anything, anywhere, the very thing I've spent my last decade working on, is not amazing to you. You will make the world better in your own way, even if you don't know exactly how. The important thing is to be open-minded so that you can find what you love. For me, it was technology. The more access my family had to technology, the better our lives got. So when I graduated, I knew I wanted to do something to bring technology to as many others as possible. 